Dun, 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 dun. Hi, guys. I have made a lot of you mad because I haven't done cooking and cut in so long. It's so sad it hurts. But don't worry, we've got an awesome episode coming up for you today. Buckle up, get ready, because Pio Pete is going to help me make a racha garlic shrimp over lime ginger rice. Oh, this is going to taste great. Okay, great. Okay, great. Yes, for all you haters out there, I have noticed that I need to shave. Get over it. Mind your own business. I'm going to be me. Goodbye. First step is that we're going to have to thaw our shrimp because I have frozen shrimp. So I'll put it in a bowl. Eh, it looks good. <laughs> Guys, I made a mess. I dropped the shrimp. Oh, no. Oh. Uh. Well, you try to, you know, psychologically recover from that tragic shrimp accident. Just put some water in these shrimp to thaw. Okay, so while we wait for these shrimp to thaw, we are going to get started on the rice, okay? But first, that means we have to steal rice from our roommate because he said we could and you don't have any. Hmm, do we see rice? How does he keep his cupboard so organized? What is this? God, mine's a mess. Let's look at mine. Just for comparison, yeah, yeah, yeah. Pretty messy in here. Okay, so I found the rice. It's in a giant Ziploc bag. I have no clue if it's minute rice or normal rice. Okay, so it's oddly porous, and I can chew it easily, so minute rice. Vince, what kind of rice is this? I mean, it's Careful, little, it's open on top. It's a little stale. It's, uh, I would stale. characterize it by its uh, sight. <laughs> Official guess, minute rice. Okay, so I haven't made minute rice in a while, but I think it's like one cup of rice to two cups of water. I'll Google it. Oh god, I'm dizzy. Okay guys, so you might not be using minute rice, but I have to use two cups of water to one cup of rice, so we're gonna bring two cups of water to a boil. Also, does anyone have any tips for cleaning cast iron burners? Because these things are disgusting and I can't get it clean. Okay, so let's turn our attention back to the shrimp. Look at those, they are thawed. Mm. Also, mine are tailless. If yours are not, remove the tail. Hey, JK, water's boiling, Hey, So, we are going to get a pot holder, quick, 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 and get that off of the heat without burning ourselves. Pour one cup of rice into our hot water. Oh my, that sounds cool. And then just stir it around a little bit, just a little bit, and put the cover on and let it sit for like, I think it's like three minutes. Guys, we forgot to put the ginger in. JK, oh, so take the lid back off. And I'm going to use this squeezed ginger because I don't use enough ginger to buy fresh ginger. So we're just gonna put like one or two little ploops of that thing in. One, two, maybe another half of a ploop, there we go. Okay, also, I kind of modified the recipe a little bit. We're not gonna make ginger lime rice, just ginger rice, okay? The lime may come in later, ooh. Okay, shrimp time! Start with a little bit of butter. Boop. Oh, that's too hot. Okay, so I just like took the pan off the burner, turned it off for a little bit, let it cool down. So now it's back in the burner and I'm adding some nice minced garlic to the butter, melted butter. And if you don't remember how to mince garlic, um, I show you how in a video. I think it was the mac and cheese video? So if you do want to learn how to mince garlic again, you can go back and find that video on my... What? You heard nothing. Add the shrimp to our butter and garlic. 
Now, add the sriracha. If you don't like sriracha, but you still want like a similar taste, you could use tomatoes. Or Cholula. Cholula would work really good. Use Cholula. Also, oh my gosh, you see Vince? Oh god, our apartment is messy. Oh, also, 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 you see Vince right there? Hi, Vince. Hello. I should tell you, Vince, that this is a pescatarian-friendly dish! Yay! Okay, sriracha time. Sriracha. Shrimp. Ooh. Look at that yummy goodness. I love sriracha, guys. If you don't, don't use it. If you like it a little bit, don't use it as much as I did. Okay, so you see how it's like golden? That looks amazing. Take it off of the burner, okay? We don't want to overcook it. Shrimp is amazing. I also don't think this is normal minute rice. It's weird. So we are going to add a little bit of salt just to kind of help with the moisture problem, okay? It's having a moisture problem. Moist? Also, if your rice is having this problem, I read online that you should add a little bit of sugar and a little bit of flour. So I'm going to experiment. Oh my god, guys, it helped! Wow! Look, it's not oddly textured anymore, if it'll focus. Oh, heck no. This is going to make my rice taste funky, but it tastes good. It didn't affect it at all. Oh my god. Okay, next step. Ah! Plate. Rice bed. If you want tips on how to make this nice, perfect rice bed, just let me know. It's pretty easy, actually, and it looks fancy. Sriracha, garlic, shrimp, right on top. Mmm. This is hard with one hand. A nice fresh avocado, a few slices. Now juice from one lime. Actually, this is half lime, not one lime, but still. Mm. Yes, yes, honey, yes. PSA: Turn off your burner when you're done. First, I'm going to try a shrimp. Could use more sriracha, but... That lime juice just works really well with it. Like, some people put lemon juice on seafood, but... Guys, switch to lime. Okay, hold this here. Oh, no, avocado! We need avocado! Okay, hold this here. Mm, mm hmm. Mm hmm. Okay, guys, I'm like demolishing this thing. I like can't stop eating it. It is so good. Uh, but I gotta sign off. Okay. Hmm. But at the end of these, we always have a chat. Sit back. Let's have a chat. Oh my god, guys, let's talk. So in my video, I alluded to something incredibly exciting. It's super awesome! The YouTube channel is up and running! Oh, get on it, folks! Okay, youtube.com slash... What's my YouTube? I guess I don't know what the link is, but just go to YouTube and type in cooking in cutoffs, and you should find my page and videos. So guys, this is going to be like the video backup log, and I'm going to upload all my videos to YouTube. I've already got some on there. I've already got mac and cheese posted, how to frost a stud muffin, Ooh. Um, ham and cheese and feta, what you should do is go and subscribe. There's just going to be a little button below all the videos and on my channel page. Just hit subscribe. Just hit subscribe. And like, you might be saying like, well, why should I do that? That's because I'm going to be having some exclusive YouTube content, okay? That means that you're going to find some stuff on YouTube that I won't be posting on Snapchat. I'll tell Snapchat about it, but you'll have to watch it on YouTube. So guys, thank you so much for watching. Go subscribe to the YouTube channel, like the videos, all of that kind of jazz. Ooh, let's play. And if you have any 
questions, concerns, compliments, jokes, anecdotes, stories, essays, um, ponderings, thoughts, let me know. Awesome. Okay. Have a lovely day. Enjoy your sriracha shrimp and ginger rice with a lime on top. And have a wonderful Super Bowl weekend. P.S. There will be a surprise on Sunday. Okay, guys. That's enough for now. I'm just so happy. Ah! Goodbye. Have a wonderful weekend. Have a lovely day. Thank you for watching. Bye.